What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today I'm going to give you guys one big tip on how to greatly improve the looks of your desk, your gaming setup. And honestly, in almost every single video, no matter what the video is about, it's always one of the most common questions in the comments section, what's your wallpaper? So today I'm going to show you guys how to really customize your wallpaper. It's only going to cost you a few bucks. Now for me personally, I like to change my wallpaper every six months or so to kind of complement the color theme or the looks of my setup. But today I'm going to show you guys pretty much endless possibilities on how to customize it, create it, and make your setup 10 times better. And how you're going to do that is with Wallpaper Engine on Steam, which is only $3.99. And this software has hundreds upon thousands of custom-made wallpapers. And it doesn't end there. You can go in and tweak them, even create your own in real time. There's just so many possibilities. It's all laid out in genres. You could search for certain themes or certain games you like. And they are all custom-made. So you can go in, find one that's going to be right for you. Find one that's going to be best for your setup and really take your setup to the next level, making it more lively. So if you're interested, sit tight. I'll show you what it's all about. So once you get it downloaded, this is your dashboard. It's very self-explanatory, all laid out pretty simply. Up top, you have your tabs for your workshop, your discover, and it's going to be how you're going to, you know, find other wallpapers, the ones that you installed. So to show you guys real quick, a little rundown. The workshop is uh, kind of laid out in terms of its popularity by the day. You can go in and customize that for like, you know, the most popular all time of the year, of the week, just to see what's, you know, relevant at the moment, see what people are downloading. The Discover tab is going to have it all laid out for you, kind of by, you know, genres and certain uh, things like cyberpunk, cats, because, you know, everyone loves cats. And if you're not happy with this, for whatever reason, there are certain paid ones you can go in and download, but seeing that there's thousands available for the price you already paid, I would just avoid the whole wallpaper shop on Steam. So in your browser, you can click on them and kind of get a little generated thumbnail up at the top to get a better idea of how it's going to look. And how you download it is just by hitting subscribe. Then it'll automatically download for you and then be in your installed section. As you can see right here into the woods. And we'll do another one real quick just to show you guys. Uh, how about rain? Sure, but download that, subscribe, and then right as it's done, it'll be right here for you. And just like that, you could see it automatically changed my wallpaper. And it is interactive. It's this real-time video of like rain kind of coming down on glass. Now, real quick, we're going to run through some of the ones that I have downloaded, some ones that I really like, just to show you guys, you know, some things that are available out there. Uh, you have this very popular kind of like Plexus one. And with each and every one, you can go in and change like the play, uh, like the playback rate. If you want to maybe like adjust the position, you can do that all in the software. And some even have music. So there's going to be like a little volume uh, dial here, which you can adjust, which maybe not music. Sometimes it'll be like certain sound effects, like if a forest one. But I usually have that all mute because I don't want stuff, you know, just I don't want birds chirping in my room. This one's called Aqua Amore. I really like this one. Probably going to switch it up with the one that I currently use every now and then. I just like the, the nice deep blues it has in the water. This next one's called Canvas Clock, which you can go in and really customize. You can even change the background to be something. And as you can see here, it has a clock to show you the time real time. And there's sort of a dial around it, which is going to be like a volume visualizer. So as you can see, whether you're playing Spotify music or watching a YouTube video, it'll reflect here on the wallpaper real time. And all this can be customized if you want it to be like longer bars, shorter bars, all that good stuff. This one's called Conway Valley, pretty popular. I've had this one in the past few weeks in my setup. Lots of comments on what it is. Got some cyberpunk rain going on. That Dear Sunset one, this one's a pretty popular wallpaper, but it has these leaves falling in real time. A little Far Cry 5 wallpaper for everybody uh, still playing that one. I thought it was a fun game. Firewatch always has some pretty impressive wallpapers on the web. Again, you got some ash falling down, the smoke in real time, a nice deep purple. Definitely a nice looking one, I think. I'm just going to run through the rest of them real quick, but the main thing here is that a lot of them are subtle. That's what I really like about it. It's not going to be too distracting on your desktop. And you can even, like I said before, go in and adjust the speeds if you want to make it a little more slower and stuff. Tons and tons and tons to pick from. No matter what genre, no matter what game, odds are you can find any wallpaper um, to match what you're looking for and then to really complement your setup. But one of the biggest things about Wallpaper Engine that I really love is it gives you the opportunity to create your own custom wallpaper. So say you have one that you already like or you downloaded one that you use already. They give you all the tools inside to make it more interactive and make it more lively with tons of effects built in. Now I'm going to speed it up for a little time lapse here so you can see the kind of process. But the biggest thing with this is going to be just taking the time to get to learn your way around it because there are a ton of different effects that you can go in and really customize from the, the amount, the opacity, the 
speeds and stuff. So the more time you spend getting used to this, the better it's gonna be in the end for the final product. Now to give you a kind of rundown of what I'm doing with this one, I have this really nice wallpaper with like a lake and some mountains in the background. And just to show you guys some things that you can do, uh, for example, I'm gonna add some god rays and stuff to make it look like that sunshine is really bright and it kind of has an interactive effect where you can see the, the light beam shining through the trees. And since there are some woods and stuff in the background, you can add some leaves falling down real time, change up the colors. Since there's some clouds and stuff already, you know, maybe it's an early morning, kind of like a foggy day, you can add some, you know, real-time interactive clouds and like a fog effect going on, so it kind of looks like that fog is already moving. And then before you know it, your wallpaper is coming to life. And there aren't just the effects that I'm showing here. As you can see, there's hundreds. You can add certain like fire effects, lightning effects, the rain effects. If you want to get real creative, you can start to layer it out in a different program and bring in like PNGs if you want to break up like the foreground and the background. So you have these real-time layers you can mess with and add some certain effects to that. So creating like a three-dimensional space is going to look really cool. And then now what I'm doing here is with their a few different water effects you can add. So since there is a lake, you can do like a, a water flow effect to show just movement between like a lake or some, you know, like a little river or something. They also have like waves and ripples you can add just to give you no know, movement to the water to make it more realistic. Realistic. And remember, this is a time lapse I'm showing you here, so the water effects are sped up a lot. It's definitely more slower and more realistic in the, in the final product. But the point is, it's a possibility. You can do all this, and you're not having just a boring static wallpaper. Now it's dynamic. So this is how it looked beforehand, just the regular picture wallpaper, and this is it now. It's got some movement, it's got some life, and this took like five minutes to create. Remember, the more time you spend with this, the better it's gonna look in the end. Another cool thing is in your taskbar, you can just quickly, you know, right click on it to change your wallpapers up if you don't wanna launch the program each time. There's also certain things you can go in, like, you know, mute the sound effects, you can pause it. So I like how they have these little quick uh, shortcuts to it without launching the app every time. All right, guys, a lot of wrap it up for this video on how to customize and really enhance your wallpaper with Wallpaper Engine in order to give your setup a nice refresh to look, make it more lively, pretty much literally, just to kind of complement your setup as a whole. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see more episodes like this in the future, make sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button down below to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.